so today's lesson's on piecewise functions. Um, I'll explain what that is, but really it's a, um, a day where we're really going to practice finding the domain and the range, uh, pulling that off a graph. Um, so a piecewise function is defined, defined um, differently for different parts of the domain. Uh, what that means is basically this graph is looking kind of like a maybe a quadratic from negative 2 to 2 but it's looking like a, a linear function from 2 to 5. So just the definition uh, the way I've just explained it causes problems when people are writing down the domain because even though this is a piecewise function it doesn't mean that the domain is going to be split into parts necessarily. The domain is the set of x coordinates. It's a set. It's like a holding place. It's like a room. And so if you're at a room in a party, you're either you're, you're either in the party, at the party, or you're not at the party when you go home and tell your mom. You know, if your mom says, "Were you at that party?" she's going to want a yes or no answer. That's kind of the way the domain uh, and the range is. You're either in or you're out. So think about that analogy as we go through this. So we want to write the domain of the function. Even though it's a piecewise function, we're just trying to find out what x coordinates are allowed in the function. What x coordinates create y coordinates. Um, so Remember, domain is the set of x coordinates, and the x axis is uh, horizontal, and the y axis is vertical. So, to find the domain, you're going to be looking at the x coordinates. So, you start here over at the left, and you can see that the furthest left we have is negative 2, and that's a black dot. So, negative 2 is in our domain. And all of these, this line means that there's an infinite amount of points here. So from negative two through negative one, uh, through negative point uh, one point seven five. Here's negative one. Here's negative point five. So this would be negative one point five. Negative point five, zero point five, and then when people are thinking about the piecewise function, this is where the mistake might occur. And I noticed that I was making mistakes on what these values are. So it's sure that you're looking at what you're counting by. So anyway, I said this is 2, but this is really 1 because here's 2. Anyway, here is the issue that people have. That sometimes people will do this. So I'll do it wrong. They'll do this. Okay. Um, this is saying that 1 is not in the domain. This is saying that 1 is in the domain. And so you have to think about your mom saying, are you at that party or not? This is not clear. We don't want to be unclear, right? So instead, when you get here, is one in the domain? Yes, one creates an ordered pair. Um, this ordered pair is one, four. So when x is one, it has a y-coordinate partner. So one is in the domain, so don't break it apart here. Keep going. One is in the domain. 1.5 is in the domain, 2 is in the domain, blah, 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 all the way to 5, and then 5 is a whole. So 5 doesn't have a y coordinate. But 5 is a boundary, it's an open boundary. So we'll put a parentheses there. Now I just explained that. It took a long time to explain that. Um, but that's the area where people mess up. Uh, so even though these are called piecewise functions, our domain is not split because it's just a collection of all the x values that are that are creating a function. It doesn't matter that the graph is splitting apart at 1. Um, 1 is in the domain. All right. all right, now let's look at the range and the range is the set of y coordinates and for functions a lot of times the y coordinates will repeat um, and you're looking at the y-axis and you start at the lowest point so the lowest y-coordinate I see is right here um, and this hole is at 5, 0, right? So 0 
is our open boundary for, of y coordinates. It's the lowest y coordinate, but it's not zero. And the reason we have to put zero there is because point y equals point oh 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 one is in the range, right? So we have to have that zero there to say this is this is where the lowest value is, not including zero, but everything uh, a little bit bigger than zero. All right, and then you're just going to go up the y axis, and it's defined. All these y coordinates are defined, and it's defined here, 0, 1, and it's defined here, 4, 1. But it doesn't matter that the, um, the y coordinates are repeating. 1 is in the domain, and you keep going, and then you might say, oh, two, here, y equals 2, not in the range. I, I think I said domain. Uh, but it's in the domain, it's in the range here. So negative 1, 2. So 2 is in the domain. So you just keep going and you might say, oh, it stops here. No, it doesn't. There are more y coordinates up here all the way to when negative, uh, when y is 5. And it's a colored in circle. All right, so your range, even though there's a lot going on in the graph, all you're doing is collecting the y coordinates that, um, are making up this function and the y coordinates that make up this function start at 0 but open parentheses and they stop at 5 and there's no break you don't have to skip over any y coordinates and it doesn't matter that they repeat okay so that's um, the domain and range now we're back to interpreting function notation f of 0 means that when your input is 0 what's your output and so input is x. So this is saying when x is 0, so you come over here, when x is 0, what's y? And you find the point for where when x is 0, and we see that that point is 0, 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. Uh, f of 2, you go over on the x-axis 2, go up to the graph, and there's a point right here, and this is 2, 3. So when f, uh, f of 2 is 3, when x is 2, y is 3, the input is 2, the output is 3. This is function notation. You have to understand what that means. Then it can go the other way. Determine all values of x such that f of x equals 2. You might have more than one answer here because your y's can repeat for functions. So this is saying that when y is 2, what is x? So again, what you want to do so you don't miss one and I have I have missed some points in it being in a rush is draw this horizontal line y equals 2 there's my horizontal line and everywhere the x act the uh, x coordinate the the, the uh, horizontal line hits this um, graph, the x coordinate is going to be the answer. So it hits the graph here at negative 1, 2. So when x is negative 1, y is 2. And then sometimes people write this one down. Remember, that's a hole. That's not really a point. This is saying that when x is 1, y is not 2. When x is 1, y is actually 4. So x is 1 is not an answer. But then you keep going and you have another intersection right here when x is 3, y is 2. So this um, horizontal line intersects this graph in two places. So there are two x answers. Okay, uh, this one, just to show you that there can be breaks in the domain, um, is a piecewise function. All right, and when we're finding the domain, remember we're starting with the x coordinates, the set of x coordinates. And this graph, the way your brain looks at it, it's going down forever and ever. But it's also going right forever and ever. This, this is going to keep extending out, I mean, left. It's going to ex keep extending out left forever and ever and ever and ever. So the domain is going to start at negative infinity. And these x-coordinates are defined, and they are defined, and they are defined. There's points right here, so x is defined. But then when you get to negative 2, there's a hole. And there's nothing... There's no point at negative 2. So negative 2 is our open boundary. We have to do that because negative 2.0000001 is in the domain, but negative 2 isn't. 
and then there's a break in the domain. See these points right here, these x coordinates here don't have any value, y values associated with them. So we do have to break it up and then it starts over when x is 0, but it's a whole, so open parentheses, and then it's going to keep going to the right forever and ever and ever and ever, so that's infinity. And you always put parentheses around infinity, never a bracket. Alright, so the range is the set of y coordinates and we start the lowest point on the y axis because when you do interval notation it's always smallest number to biggest number. That's a common mistake. People get that backwards. That's an easy thing to fix. Smallest number to biggest number, always. Alright, so the smallest number in our range, well it's going to go on down forever and ever, so the smallest y coordinate would be negative infinity, and it's going to go, and there are y coordinates, y coordinates, y coordinates, and the highest y coordinate is here, but it's a hole, right? So, I can't see these graph values, All right. so we're counting by two, so that's a four, okay. Um, so we have all the way up to 4, but it has to be a parentheses. So that's the range. So there's a break in the domain because there's x coordinates missing, but there's no break in the range. All right, again, function notation means if x is 0, y is what? So you come over here to x is 0, and you go up, and there is no point. There's no y coordinate. So this one is a does not exist example. DNE stands for does not exist. Alright, f of 2, that means when x is 2, what's y? Alright, and so this is 3 right here, and this intersection, this is 3.5 right here. I'm going to say 3.2. and That's my approximation. So as long as you're pretty close to that, you'll get a credit. It could say 3.25. Both of those are within, you know, 0.1 of the answer. Okay, so pick one. Not both of them, just pick one. Alright, and then this last one, remember what we do? Determine all values of x, such that f of x equals 1. This is saying that when y is 1, what's x? And you might have more than one answer. So we'll just draw a horizontal line, y equals 1, and see that this y equals 1 is intersecting at two places. And so this is really hard to see. Negative. So this is negative 1, that's negative 2, that's negative 3, that's negative 4. That's negative 5. This is negative 4.5. I'm going to say like negative 4.7. And here it's not quite 4. So here's 3. Here's 3.5. This is probably around 3.7. Give or take a tenth or so. So you have two x inputs that give you that y equals 1 output. All right, let's see if we can do something from the lab manual. This is my page 13 in the lab manual. Um, so same thing, we have a graph. It is a piecewise function. That's not really going to affect our domain. Our domain is a set of x-coordinates. That's the definition that we're worried with. And you look on the x-axis. And the lowest x-axis I see is when x is negative 5, and it's a colored in circle. Okay, so it's in the domain, and then negative 4, and all the points in between. And then when you get to 1, this is different than the example. Both of these are holes. So when x is 1, y is not defined here, and when x is 1, y is not defined here. So this, when x is 1, it does not have a y-coordinate partner, so 1 did not go to the party. Union, 1. Okay, now that 
parentheses, one parentheses union, uh, union parentheses one, that's allowed. That's telling me that one is not in the domain. So this is not allowed from the previous example. That will never happen because you're saying one is in the party. So just don't do that. Don't break it. Here we have to break it because one is not at the party. One is not in the domain. Okay, you pick up at one, open boundary one, and it at the, all the x coordinates are defined until you get up here to six, but there's a hole at six, so again, parentheses. All right, now the range is the set of y coordinates, so if we go down there, the lowest y coordinate, I have this point, when x is negative five, y is negative one, so negative one is in our range. And we go up and we might say, oh, this is not in the range, but yes, it is. This value right here is in the range. So all of these y coordinates are in the range. And then you might say, oh, five is not in the range. Yes, it is. Five is in the range. So there is no break in the range. Okay, so when this is 19, and all the way through, negative 1 all the way up to 19. There is no, even though there's a something going on in the graph, what the y coordinates are defined. They're defined, they're defined, they're defined, they're defined, they're defined. All these y coordinates are defined all the way up until 19 where there's a hole, so you have a parentheses on the hole. All right, if you want to do some of these, f of 0 means when x is 0, what is y? And that looks like 4 to me. f of 3, what is that? Well, that means that when x is 3, uh, what is y? So here's 1, here's 2, here's 3. Looks like y is 5. Um, okay, now here we have if x is 0. So if we do, if uh, f of x equals 0, what is x? So if we draw a line y equals 0, a horizontal line, you'll see all the y, uh, the intersections at the line y equals 0. There's only one right here. And that's the ordered pair when x is negative 4, 0. So when, when y is 0, x is negative 4, and that's it. All right, f of x equals 5 means when the output is 5. So if we draw a horizontal line through y equals 5, when we look for the intersections, we have no intersection here because that's a hole, but we do have an intersection here. This is the ordered pair 3, 5. So that means that when y is 5, f of x equals 5, the input is 3. So these are two examples where there's only one answer. There could be more. All right, so if you keep practicing, um, you know, on page 14, you've got more examples, but look very carefully here. There is a split. There is a gap in this domain. There is not a gap in the range. Here's another example where there's more gaps in the domain. Um, no gaps in the range. So practice those and check the key. And then remember this example, this is not a gap in the domain because one is at the party. That's it.